in. So today we're making, tell me Cesar, I can't remember the name. Enchiladas verdes de pollo. Enchiladas verde de pollo, which is enchiladas with green sauce and they're stuffed with chicken. They're really, really good. Sorry that I wasn't so good on the pronunciation there. Anyways, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some tomatillos. Now, if you're not familiar with tomatillos, they have this little papery film that's over the top of them, and they kind of look like a green tomato. We're going to take those, and we are going to boil them. And I have, these are pretty large ones. Sometimes they, they when you find them, they can be kind of small. But I have some large ones here, and so I'm going to take five of them. And I've got some water over here, and it's boiling. And I'm going to put it in the water. And I'm also going to add a serrano chili and a jalapeno to the water as well. And those are just going to boil up. Meanwhile, I'm going to take some cilantro. And I'm going to put it in my blender. And some yellow onion. And I'd say that that is about, this is a pretty big onion. So depending upon the size of your onion, this is about a fourth of the onion. And I'm just going to kind of give that a rough chop, put that in my blender as well. And I have a couple cloves of garlic. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that garlic as well. While that sits there and waits, that's basically going to sit there and wait for our tomatillos to cook up. But while that's sitting there and waiting, I have a quick fix. I love this. This is the best idea. These rotisserie chickens that you can get at your grocery store. I always get mine at Costco when I go do my weekly grocery shopping because Costco has some nice, big, juicy ones. And I use them for different meals that I prepare throughout the week. So the next thing I'll do after I get this garlic in there, I don't know, I lost my garlic press, so it's been a little bit annoying. Anyways, so I have this rotisserie chicken, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut that breast meat right out, just cut around it. And like I said, I love it because you can put this in the fridge, and then throughout the week, if you have a couple of different meals that you'd like to have chicken in, you can just go ahead and use that chicken and it's already cooked for you and it's delicious and it's tender so what I do with that meat is I shred that meat up because that's going to be the filling for my enchilada and I'm usually a little bit better at cutting the breast out but for whatever reason today I'm having some trouble doing it anyways uh, basically uh, I'm just going to do that getting a lot of comments lately from people. One of the comments that stood out about my videos is that there's a lot of interruptions. Well, let me tell you, I'm a mom and I have four kids and there will be interruptions. And if that is a bother to you, then I'm probably not the person you want to watch cook because my first priority is to being a mother and this comes second or third or maybe even fourth. But I do enjoy cooking, I do enjoy sharing with people different recipes. So if you're not bothered by my four children running in and out, then keep watching because I think you'll enjoy all of the delicious recipes that I make. Uh, I'm not going to try to put a show on for you and pretend like I'm the Food Network because I'm not. Wow. We're here at home in my kitchen and my kids come through and they've got things and I've got to answer up that chicken. And I've got that boiling over there. Now, the next thing you have to do, and this is probably the unhealthy part of this meal, yet you don't have to do it, but if you're going to make these enchiladas traditional the way that a Mexican would make them at their home in Mexico, then this would be the next step. What you're going to do is you're going to give your tortillas an oil bath. Now, if you're very health conscious and you don't want to do that, then what I would suggest is that you take your tortillas, you put them in the microwave to heat them up a little, and then that will soften them enough that when you're ready to roll the chicken into them, they won't break. So we're just going to go over here, and I'm going to run them through the oil, 
and looks like I need to heat my oil up a little bit, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, the oil's heated up, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give these tortillas a quick bath through the oil. Now, if you're health conscious, you could, you know, use olive oil if you want. I've got canola here. This is the traditional way to do it. You just dip. And I don't even let it go. I was going to use my tongs, but I think I've decided I'm not even going to do that. And then I'm just going to stack them up. 